Hi everyone, welcome back to Pause to Read. Today we're going to be reading Pugtato Finds a Thing, written by Sophie Corrigan. Today, Pugtato digs up something that he can't figure out what it is in his garden. So he brings along some of his friends to help him figure out what exactly it is. So why don't we all pull up a chair and get ready to read Pugtato Finds a Thing. This is Pugtato. He is a simple, good spud. He can often be found digging in the mud. One day as he planted some seeds in the ground, he dug up a thing all shiny and round. Pugtato thought hard, but he hadn't a clue what this thing was or what it could do. So he cleaned up the thing and took it away to show his best spuddies to see what they would say. High in the shrub, Tweet Root fluttered her ring. Tweet Root, come down. What on earth is this thing? That thing's for me to keep warm in my nest. So she plopped down upon it and puffed out her chest. Oh, that's much too warm now. I'm afraid we can't stay. Then Pugtato grabbed Thing and they went on their way. He then asked Tomato down by the puddle. Do you know what this is? It has me befuddled. That thing is for bouncing, he croaked. What a treasure. And he gave it a wet, bouncy lick for good measure. Oh, this won't do, Pugtato said with a sigh, and he took thing away to give Pursnip a try. Pursnip was napping, which was not a surprise, but a woof from his friend made him open his eyes. Sorry to wake you, but I'm confused. Can you tell me how this thing should be used? Of course, Pursnipped purred as he stretched out his paws. Oh, that thing is scratching to sharpen my claws. As soon as Pugtato heard Pursnip's advice, he had second thoughts. Scratching's not very nice. Finding out about Thing was a difficult task, but Pugtato had lots more best buddies to ask. Carat thought thing was for gnawing and chewing. And cowbage, well, she started mooing. Pugtato showed thing to the three Brussels snouts. They snuffled and snorted that thing all about. But they snuffled so hard, it shut up like a spring. Right to Cauliflower, who gave chase to the thing. Cauliflower was sure a new toy to be found as he barked at Thing loudly and tossed it around. Now Pugtato was worried. He'd become quite attached. He didn't want Thing to get dirty and scratched. But when Thing rolled away from his best spuddy's paw, it landed near Crockley's big snappy jaws. Oh dear, yelled Pugtato, that's not good. And he ran off with Thing just as fast as he could. When he came to the field there, mysterious and tall, stood Unicorn on the cob, the wisest of all. Hello, do you know what this thing is? Like everyone else, you're much smarter than me. Oh, little Pugtato, you must follow your heart, for it holds all the answers and sets you apart. Pugtato stared hard at the thing he had found. Perhaps it's just shy, so it hides underground? I may not know much, but I know when I see a thing that needs hugs. So here's one from me. As Pugtato was wagging his cute Tato tail, there suddenly appeared a curly kale snail. Pugtato was happy despite being muddy. I know what you are. You're my newest best spuddy. This is Pugtato. He may not feel smart, but he's wiser than most when he follows his heart. The end. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope to see you again next week.